Hi folks, my name is Lisa Hendrickson and I'm the owner of Call That Girl Technology Support based out of Minneapolis and Rochester, Minnesota. Many times I get asked, how do you map your computer to SharePoint? And it took me quite a while to figure this out, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you all how to do it. It took me a while to figure it out because the instructions I found online were not so easy. Anyway, first thing is, you must use Internet Explorer. Okay, so just don't try it in Chrome, don't try it in uh, Firefox, it does not work. First thing you want to do is log into the Microsoft portal. Now as you see down here, here's my account and here's my uh, password. This is key, keep me signed in. You have to check that box. So if you're mapping a drive for somebody, um, make sure you always tell them to stay logged in to the Microsoft portal. Then you go over to Sites. For SharePoint. Then you go to Team Site or wherever you have a site that you want to map. Then you go to Documents. Then up here there's a little tab for Library. And over here you open with Explore. Now here you're going to see a little uh, server. Go ahead right click and copy address. Then you go back to Internet Explorer. Go to Tools, Internet Options, go to Security, go to Trusted Sites, Sites, add the site, which you see I already have here. It's already in the zone. Uncheck Require Server Verification. Hit Close. Hit OK. Then we scoot over to the computer, map a network drive. I always make it the S drive for SharePoint. Copy that same link you copied earlier and hit Finish. And voila! Now your clients, when they go to their computer, they can open up the S drive and they can also save to the S drive from a Word document, Excel. Everything is saved in real time, just as it should, and clients don't have to log into the portal anymore. The only people that might need to are administrators and people who are working on the admin side. That's it, folks. It's pretty easy. So thank you for participating.